Greetings and welcome to YarnSpirations.com. In this video, we're going to take a brief look at the thumb method of casting on stitches in knitting. To get started, all we need is some yarn and a knitting needle. Now, you can do this on a circular knitting needle. I am using a straight needle in the video because it's easiest to do that with the camera on. <laughs> so, uh, you can use whatever kind of knitting needle you want. Now, unlike many cast-ons, you're going to need the slip knot that begins your cast on to be pretty far in from the cut edge. So you don't want to make a slip knot here. You want to make it in a little bit. Now, um, how far from the edge you need to go will depend on how many stitches you're going to cast on, but be aware you're going to need yarn on both sides of the slip knot. And it's better to have too much than too little. So if you're worried, pull some more yarn out because it's always easier to cut some yarn off if you have too much left at the end than it is to have to rip it all out and start over. So I'm going to start with making a slip knot. I'm going to make a loop. I'm going to reach through the loop and pull up a strand and tighten it up. So I'm going to put that first loop on my knitting needle and that is my first stitch. So I want the working yarn, which is the yarn that's attached to the ball away from me and the tail yarn or the cut end towards me. And I'm going to put my fingers under that first strand that's closest to me. I'm going to put the needle tip under that front strand, take the working yarn, yarn over just like I was doing a knit stitch, pull the yarn over through that loop that was on my thumb, take my thumb out and tighten it up. So once again, thumb goes under the front loop, needle tip goes under that front strand, yarn over like you were going to knit, pull the tip with the yarn over through the loop, take your thumb out and tighten it up under the front strand, yarn over as if to knit, pull it through and take your thumb out of the loop, tighten up both sides. That's all there is to it under the front strand, yarn over as if to knit, pull that yarn over through the loop, take your thumb out of the loop, and again, you'll tighten them up as you go. Let me go one more. Let's see if we can go super slow here. This is very similar to the long tail cast on, if that's the one you normally use. Under the front strand, use that working yarn as a yarn over as if to knit. Use the right needle tip to bring it through the loop. Take your thumb out of the loop. Tighten it up. And you can see you can really get a rhythm going once you get the hang of things. All right, and like the long tail cast on, if you use this as your casting on method, it's best to count it as a row of knit stitches when you're reading your pattern. Thanks so much for joining us here on yarnspirations.com. I look forward to seeing you again soon.